Hello, I'm Satnam Sanghera. I'm a writer, journalist and historian and I'm here at Wolverhampton Art Gallery to check out a fantastic piece of art by Chyla Kamari Singh Berman. One of the nicest things about my job is that I occasionally get to spend a lot of time one-on-one -on -one with a piece of art, with no one else around. And this is one of those moments. I feel very fortunate. I think the first thing that strikes you when you come to this painting is that it's not a painting. It's got things on it. You know, it's almost like a sculpture. You can see all these bindis or Indian jewellery and those things there look very much like fruit pastels and that's my favourite flavour. So I'm here using my superpowers of looking. Part of you wants to get very close, and another part of you wants to get back and take it in. You've got lots of the same person, but captured in multiple different settings, different moods. There's dozens of photographs, and all those individual pictures remind me of comic strips. It has the same kind of strip effect, doesn't it? The other thing it reminds me of is the camera roll you might get in your phone and also those photos that sometimes get produced if you go into a photo booth and you have some fun at a wedding or a bar mitzvah. And you come out with a strip of photographs and you can be a different mood or be doing a different action in each photograph. So I know that this is a self-portrait. So this is the artist's interpretation of herself. What I think she's saying is that I am not just one thing. I am a bunch of things. You can't put me in a box. And you probably feel that about yourself in that some days you feel like an introvert, you're very shy. Other days you feel like a party animal. And I think she's saying, you cannot trap me. You cannot say I am one thing because I am a lot of things. The background is black. And then in contrast, you've got lots of color, like an extreme amount of color. You can't help but notice all these beautiful gold beads, and they could be necklaces, they could be bangles. It's an incredible display of colour and jewellery and life. As you go a bit further up, you've got a bunch of jewels that have broken free, a bit like an asteroid storm in the dark. You're not just seeing stars, you're seeing stars of multiple different colours. And at the top, you've got these lines of light, which remind me of religious paintings that you see in churches sometimes, or even in Sikh temples and in Hindu temples. This feels like a picture that's celebrating lots of different things. It's celebrating religion, it's celebrating culture, and I think it's celebrating herself. It makes me think about how people are really complicated. Also, it makes me think about my hometown, Wolverhampton, where we are at the moment, which is one of the most multicultural places in Britain. It reminds me of the history of this country. We had the biggest empire in human history, and it was a multicultural empire. And that's one of the main reasons we're a multicultural country. And so I feel like this brings together a huge influence of different cultures into one picture. It's been such an incredible treat to spend an afternoon here at Wolverhampton Art Gallery using my superpower of looking to examine this incredible picture. I hope it's inspired some of you to check out the thousands of pictures in galleries and museums around the country. Mm -hmm.